It's the Diamond K Morning Show here on RadioOnFire.com. Thank you for joining me. I definitely want to encourage you to cast your nominations for the 2017 Baltimore Music Awards. Visit BaltimoreMusicAwards.com and let your voice be heard uh, before October the 9th. Uh, you, Baltimore, will decide the winners. Now, a lot been going on with Ray Lewis. And uh, he recently gave his explanation, uh, in air quotes, and, and definition of what he was doing when everyone saw him uh, kneeling down, two knees, uh, wrapped arm in arm with Ravens players, which he is not, by the way. And, and why he feels compelled to put himself in the mix with Ravens players like... He's a Ravens player. You are a retired player, and you always want to put your nose and your mouth and opinion in what's going on. Uh, and, and so he's just an attention seeker, and now that you're getting the attention that you clearly want, now you want to cry. Now you want to whine. Now you want to moan. Now you want to complain. So on Sunday... In London, Ray Lewis took his attention-seeking self overseas with the Baltimore Ravens, and they had him doing mascot duties, things that, you know, retired players genuinely do, and shaking hands and taking pictures and things with fans, and all that kind of stuff is good and lovely and wonderful. Uh, then game time came, and, and Ray Lewis feels, maybe you should be a preacher, Ray. Maybe you should get a church, Ray. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, he felt compelled. Oh, the kids, it's confused. Oh, I didn't know what to do. I see all these people talking about stuff, but they ain't talking about football. All right, fine, right? So the players do a, a, a number of things. Some of them uh, put down on one, go down on one knee. Some of them stand up, they lock arms, all these things. Not a whole lot of confusion. I mean, yeah, people were mad about what Trump said, as they should be. But Ray Lewis overstating things, as usual. A drama queen, the drama queen that he is. I just see people confused. All right, whatever. So he goes down on two knees, right? Looking like a freaking idiot. As I've said on numerous broadcasts, but he does it. He's down on two knees. He is the butt of so many jokes, especially after what he said about Colin Kaepernick, right? So Ray Lewis, in his in his infinite wisdom or stupidity, and it's it's amazing to me that this dude has six kids. Right? Let me tell you why it's amazing. Because you have to be the role model. And, and 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 the father figure for six people, which is amazing to me, the fact that these kids are even going to turn out halfway right, considering the example that you set. But you don't want to wor worry about your own kids, right? The guys on the football team, they don't need you, Ray. They don't want you, Ray. Your, your guidance, okay? Let's, let's keep in mind, you were on trial for double murder, all right? If we go over the details, right, you weren't a stand-up guy, Ray. When you were on trial, the way that you rolled over on your co-defendants, you weren't a stand-up guy, Ray. All right? But that's in the past, so we'll leave it there. But I'm just trying to, to, to emphasize the character of this man who claims that he was there to help people. So in between two Ravens players that are clearly on one knee, you go down on two knees, right? Now, you're sending a mixed message because now Ray Lewis wants to say he was not protesting. He, he wasn't kneeling. Uh, he was praying. Okay, that's what he said. Okay, if you were praying, Ray, why don't you put your hands together in the center? You know, the, the traditional prayer uh, uh, movement for your hand. Why'd you wrap your arms around the guys beside you who were clearly protesting? Because you were protesting. You were just doing it in your own bitch ass way but when you were called out on your hypocrisy you come up with this lame ass definition uh uh 
you're trying to defend your gesture of solidarity with the players, the coaches, and the personnel on the team. Uh, not just the team, but across the whole NFL who protest President Trump's uh, call for the league owners to fire those who took a knee. We got to keep in mind, you were one of the first so-called black people to run and kiss the ring of Donald Trump for a photo op, and he used you. He used you for a photo op. Not even a, 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 a real photo op. You just, you know what I mean, just whatever. I, I just, just once again, showing the character of Ray Lewis. Now, you, you love the national anthem so much. Now, now you had to make your apology for white folks, right? That's who this is for. This, this, this lame-ass apology is for white folks. You claim you do so much for cops. You claim that you do so much uh, for black communities. Okay, uh, I, I, uh, he, he frustrates me immensely. But Ray Lewis has been under scrutiny for getting down on his knees after vowing he'd never do such a thing. When he was criticizing Kaepernick over the summer. We remember that, right? So your way of showing solidarity, first of all, who cares if you're in solidarity? You are a retired player. Now you are an analyst on Fox, right? Nobody cares if you're in solidarity with them. You're not a player. Who cares about you or what you think? But you want to run on the field with real players, with current players, and make some type of a statement. So beside people who are kneeling on one knee, you get on two knees and you're surprised that people think that you're protesting because that's what the people beside you are doing. That's what people on both sides of you are doing and around the whole field. But you are praying. You should have been in church then, Ray. You should have been in church. But here we go. So... Lewis has, you know, the, the, the criticism came immediately, immediately for him. Now, earlier this week on Inside the NFL, the Baltimore Ravens uh, uh, mascot, Ray Lewis, uh, sought to set the record straight in his words. And he stated, I do too much with the military, with cops. I do way too much to dishonor them. Once again... The, the 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 idiocy of Ray Lewis. Have you taken too many shots to the head, Ray? This is not about dishonoring the military. You are a fool. You are a fool. It is not about dishonoring the military. But once again, Ray Lewis, who claims he does so much, and then the fact that this this guy was on TV acting like he was getting ready to cry. I don't know if you noticed this, but but if you look at the video, look at the video. He's reading from fucking notes. If you were so passionate about what you were saying and what you were saying was true about Neil and all stuff you do, you would be speaking from the heart. But this dude was reading from notes, right? Reading from notes because what you were saying was a lie. Now, he continued. Let's make sure you hear people saying Oh, he took a knee. You damn right be saying that because your dumbass was on two knees. You took a knee because you were on your knees. What are you saying? Like, you weren't on your hands. You weren't doing a handstand and we said you took a knee. You're on your knee. Now, he said, I absolutely did not take a knee. Once again, you're a fucking liar. You were on your knees. Now, whether you were on your knees praying or whether you're on your knees protesting, bitch ass nigga, you took a knee. Once again, he continues, you hear Shannon Sharp going out there talking about I dropped on a knee and, oh, I sat in the chair next to him and said I would never do this and I still didn't do it. There's nothing but pictures with Ray Lewis on his knee. Knees. That is still taking a knee, whether you took a knee at the altar uh, on the pulpit, or wherever people take a knee in church, whether you took a knee at the podium, whether you took a knee on the field, you took a fucking knee if you're on your knees. But, once again, he tried. Right, you should, you should either be a preacher or a politician because your lying game is, is, is there. And, you know, you're sitting there with the, almost in tears and I'm from the streets. And shut the f- uh. 
But Lewis was persistent in claiming that his gesture was one that he displayed in a means of prayer and to honor God. Accordingly, most people don't see it that way. Most people see him for what he is. That's why this petition is going around for uh, his statue removal. And uh, it's merely a, a gesture to show that people really dislike Ray Lewis. And the reason that a lot of people uh, want to take his statue down is more so because it, at least it was initially started because he took the knee in protest. Now, a lot of black people are mad at him because he took the knee after he said he wouldn't. And some supporters of the flag are mad that he took the knee because they think he's protesting. So people are mad at him all around for, for various reasons. He claims that he's getting death threats now. I don't think it's that serious. Uh, he is a liar and a hypocrite uh, and someone who forgot where he came from. And, you know, what's amazing to me is that he wants to talk about, he, he marched with uh, the family for slain uh, people at the hands of the police, uh, Mike Brown, Tamir Rice, etc. And he wanted his kids to, to be a part of a protest. Uh, but I don't think that your kids are proud of you, Ray. I really don't. What you've done, is it is it unredeemable? I, I think you could be redeemed. But what's so, what's so sad about it is you don't even realize what you've done is wrong. You don't think that there's any any reason. He does not take responsibility. At the end of the day, Shannon Sharp says that he spoke to Ray Lewis and they talked about it and they had conversations and they just have to agree to disagree. Uh, I have a lot of friends who I disagree with on numerous subjects and we can still move forward and be friends so I don't fault him for still being his friend. But Ray Lewis is a hypocrite that is not, I mean, that's not even up for debate. When Colin Kaepernick took his knees in protest, people made assumptions, including Ray Lewis, made assumptions as to what his protest really meant. Even though Colin Kaepernick said clearly, and other people, because Colin Kaepernick wasn't the only person to protest, but he said what his protest was about. And many people, including Ray Lewis, including President Trump, want to make this out to be about the flag and about the military, and it's not. But people are not taking Colin Kaepernick at his word on that. Now you have Ray Lewis, who clearly was on his knees beside people who were protesting in the same exact way that Colin Kaepernick was. However, we're supposed to take Ray Lewis at his word that he was not doing the same thing Colin Kaepernick was doing. He was praying. And we're supposed to take him at his word, but Colin Kaepernick, Ray Lewis, you don't take him at his word. But whatever. That's just the hypocrisy of Ray Lewis. Uh, Shannon Sharp is an honorable man, and Ray Lewis is someone who you would not trust. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at the Dominic K Show, at Radio on Fire. There's a petition floating around to take down the statue of Ray Lewis, and I don't think that it's that to you know that degree ironically the uh, organizer of this petition started the petition because he was mad that he felt Ray Lewis was protesting the flag and that's why he started the petition ironically a lot of black people uh, and, and minorities are mad at Ray Lewis because of his hypocrisy after he said that he would not kneel he is seen kneeling on two knees in between a stadium full of players who are protesting in the same way Colin Kaepernick was. So the fact that he was there doing that shows his hypocrisy, excuse me. And that is why a lot of other people are mad at, at uh, Ray Lewis. Uh, so let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at the Dominic K Show, at Radio on Fire.